Nevada's state robotics tournament just happened, with scores so close you would think it was fake. We alliance with our B team because their fast bot can play aggressive while A team plays more defensive. In the start, our B team pushes over all the tri balls that the other alliance shoots, which is much better than trying to push them off the bar because it means more tri balls for you. As our B team pushes the tri balls over, our A team scores them. Our B team notices the other alliance is trying to get a ton of tri balls over, but since their bot's so fast, it makes it there before they can get through. A couple of tri balls end up making it over, but it was a good stall and we still got a handful. We start doing the superior method of match loading, bowling, and their defensive bot doesn't block the tunnel and gives us free tri balls. We get the double hang and the other alliance's bot starts breakdancing. We end up winning 158 to 62. I had the GoPro too far back, so the ref covered some of the camera this game, so I'll go for what I can. You'll notice our B team doesn't match load or bowl and instead opts for grabbing single balls. This leaves our A team on defense trying to steal all the tri balls the other alliance match loads. Our B team and A team trade jobs and B team steals the majority of tri balls being launched over. Meanwhile, A team is single loading for guaranteed tri balls. You can't see it, but our gold does have a couple more tri balls than the other gold. We were able to get both hangs down with an end score of 148 to 95. In the beginning of this match, B team made sure to yoink most of the tri balls on the blue alliance's side and then starts loading single balls. Noticing a trend here? They tried giving one of the tri balls a push, but it ended up going in the no go zone. Then A team stops the blue alliance from bowling because let's be honest here, bowling is not the meta. Meanwhile, B team is rowing back and forth loading single balls. 40 seconds in, one of the blue team's bot disconnects. And keep this in mind because it's important later. As a last ditch attempt to score some points, the other team tries to go for some sneaky match loading, but we steal most of the balls they launch over. The more they shoot, the more for us. Scoring these balls doesn't give them enough time for hang, so we got maximum hang points. We would have won this match, but due to some technicalities, we had to rematch because the blue alliance's bot disconnected. In this rematch, B team's auto messes up and some somehow goes over the barrier, our coders don't know either, so we don't get the 8 points for auto. We did the same thing at the start as last round. B team steals the tri balls on the opponent's side, and A team scores our own. After that, as an intimidation move, our A team pops a wheelie on the bar. Other than that, it was pretty much the same as the other game, just scoring single balls. However, the other alliance doesn't start match loading until there's 15 seconds left, which means it's a more starved game. We gave up our life of robbery and decided to go for hang instead of theft. Our B team bot does a little dance with its wing, which was a celebration, and definitely not just to readjust. We ended up winning 111 to 84. Now it was on to finals. It was us versus 987X and 74177M. 987X is a team who we won state with last year, so they were a definite threat and we knew it would be close. At the start, our A team scores the tri balls on our side, and the other alliance tries to push some over, but we didn't let them. B team dances with the blue alliance while A team scores any stray tri balls. Keep in mind, the other other alliance is a pancake bot, so if we double zone, they will steal all of our tri balls. Both goals at this point are pretty even, but the other alliance has a couple more tri balls. High rollers get stuck on the barrier for a second, so A team takes the opportunity to single load. The high rollers chase them down and pin us, but they get disabled for a little, so we push them away. Amidst the chaos, the other alliance's pancake bot gets disconnected, making it a 2v1. During this time, A team is blocking the high rollers from scoring, and B team is single loading with no obstructions. Eventually, their pancake bot comes back online, but right after that it seemed like it disconnects again. Now pay attention because things get crazy here. Our teams thought it was safe to double zone because their bot seemed to be disconnected, and when we thought nothing could go wrong, this happened. The other bot wasn't disconnected. Knowing that with our tri ball advantage, the only way to win was to de-score, they waited next to the goal for the perfect moment. And when B team tried to go for extra points by double zoning, they swooped under to de-score. The crazy thing is that we were still able to re-score a lot of the tri balls and get hang with only 10 seconds left in the game. Everyone ended up getting their hangs, including this bot, which is very close to the ground. We all waited anxiously for the refs to show us the scores. And then he comes over and flips around his tablet to show us the this. We won by one point, which is one fifth of a tri ball. So this next match we really want to win because that would mean we don't have to play another match and we win the whole tournament. Same deal in the beginning, just scoring and shooting. The other alliance's bot isn't working once again, so as of right now it's a 1v2. High rollers try to defend, but it's hard for them to try and score and defend at the same time. At this point the bot wakes up from its slumber and starts defending, so B team just loads single balls. But again, the pancake bot takes a nap, which really does not put the blue alliance in a good spot here. At this point, 
point, B team starts just pushing tribals onto our side with single loads as A team grabs them and scores them, sort of like an assembly line. The pancake bot comes to and scores a tribal, but it was all a distraction because high rollers come in and bowl a lot of tribals onto their side. A team snatched one of them, but it was a net gain for the high rollers. This part was super scary because high rollers was trapping A team, so they were forced to double zone for a short moment, which thankfully the pancake bot did not take advantage of. The pancake bot wanted to go over and score this tribal, but B team was too scary and it ran away and disconnected again. High rollers bull again, A team scores and B team single loads, then it was just a matter of hang. A team whiffed their hang, so both alliances had one hang. So this was it. If we win this match, we win the whole tournament. And I'm proud to announce. Ladies and gentlemen, love so hard to find. we got him. Your feelings changed like the weather. So both our teams got tournament champion. And not only that, the B team got excellence award and A team won skills. See you at Worlds.